Go, go with him. I want him to stay here. sharing that with us, you know, Dr. King's work in his life is well documented. It's up to us to pick up the mantle that uh, he passed on to us and to continue a peaceful, nonviolent uh, struggle for equality and social justice in this country, because the fight definitely must continue. Thank you for the call. 877-532-5797. Let's go line two and welcome Al. He's in Milwaukee listening on 860 WNOV. Al, line two, welcome to Keeping It Real with Reverend Al Chuck and John Andre. Your thoughts? Hi, Andre. Um, I heard you talking about um, um, MLK as being compared to Jesus and approaching the, the different uh, comparisons to how Jesus was martyred. And I just, in general, think martyrdom, martyrdom is a bad thing. And I don't know that even MLK himself would appreciate it because... He was a Christian, and I definitely think there's an air of uh, false idol worship about it. Oh, 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 oh. See, because I think you missed the entire point. The point that we were making was uh, what kind of approval did Dr. King have among Americans when he was alive? And I talked about President Kennedy's assassination. I talked about Abraham Lincoln's assassination. You know, Kennedy only had a 58% approval rating. And a whole lot of people disliked Abraham Lincoln. And I also brought up Jesus of Nazareth, who was reviled and, and cursed at and spat upon as they were walking him to the cross. I'm not trying to uh, make Dr. King a divine entity. So let's get it straight with what the comparison was all about. And I totally uh, appreciate that comment and that. And then, yeah, I do. If you were you bring it up as a historical comparison, not a spiritual comparison. But I really changed my point because on Google, I've seen him post when you actually have the opening page and you can type in your thing as a graphic test. And it changes based on what's going on. And I've seen it in the past where he's in the Jesus Christ post with the hair over his head. And there's all of, like his flies in front of him. A lot of people, so I'm not accusing you of, 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 of false economy, but a lot of people, and I think the African, too many people in the African American community, but in America and across the world in general, uh, 
on the borderline of fight, false uh, idolatry towards him because and in the end he was flawed just like any man and there's so many things you know that are not commonly talked about that are factual and other things that are possible that kind of a lot in the whitewash sort of Santa Claus turning his um, holidays into sort of like a Christmas. Well, it's a national holiday. No, he's, the no. only, he's the only African American ever in history to be no, given a national no. holiday, which was signed into law by President no, Ronald Reagan. No, 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 no. And I think Dr. King definitely no, no. deserves a national holiday. I think he deserves the respect, he deserves the intellectual scrutiny. And, uh, and, and the reverence of all Americans, not just black people, but all Americans, man gave his life to make this country a better place, to make the country live out what was the true meaning of the tree. And I think it's all the other thing and proper that we should commemorate his life. I think that uh, we should try to follow the example he left for us, but nobody's deifying Dr. King, you know, and, and, but I will appreciate the call, and I understand, you know, why you feel that way. Believe me, I do. 877-532-5797. Let's go to last week. Don't love him too much, y'all. Don't love him too much. Let's go to last week. We are in Indianapolis, listening on XM 126. Pierre, welcome to Keeping It Real with Reverend Al Sharpton. You got Andre. Uh, well, thank you for taking my call, Andre. Uh, um... Dr. King was killed um, because um, he came out against the Vietnam War, and um, the United States government uh, was um, um, deep in Vietnam. Uh, the Johnson administration was in trouble. Uh, they were trying to show up uh, political support, and uh, Dr. King um, and his um, uh, influence, I believe that's what really uh, got him killed and when you know that and when you know everything that's happened in Memphis because William Pepper as Kamali said was the definitive um, author um, and researcher on the King assassination and when you think about it um, he, his book none of his books are reviewed by the New York Times uh, he's not on any show uh, on this 50th uh, anniversary, when you when you when you read all of these publications, he's never quoted, and he's readily available. He's been on uh, radio shows, and so what does that tell us? That tells us that the American publishers of these major newspapers, they have an ongoing relationship with the FBI, and I believe that. Um, so. You know, that is a and then, you know, they prosecutors routinely use the news media to uh, publicize certain uh, aspects of the prosecution that they will use to their advantage in prosecuting criminals in the United States of America. Hold with me, Pierre. I do want you to finish your thoughts on the other side. Stay with me, folks. I'm Greg Michael. I've got the honor of putting on for living out talking today. And you can join the discussion at 877 532 